Sean Saint. Hey, Sean. We uh, mentioned you today. You're going to be uh, on the Craig and Chris show. We mentioned your comment on our comments episode, so uh, make sure you tune into that tomorrow. Uh, that's at craigandchris.com. That's my other more lighthearted, entertaining show. Uh, he said, speaking of antivirus, what do you say are some of the best out there, Craig Chamberlain? Uh, there's quite a few of them. Obviously, the best antivirus, I'm going to say this time and time again, is you. I don't care how good your antivirus software is. If you're clicking on everything and, and, and you're touching everything and you've got to, you're one of those people who's like, ooh, flashing lights, or you've won, congratulations, you've won, and you can't resist the urge to click it. I don't care what antivirus you have. <laughs> you've got to pay attention. you got to pay attention to the installations when you're installing new software. They're very sneaky with these checkboxes on your licensing agreements. you got to make sure that when you're going through them, that you're not agreeing to install this ask toolbar, this whatever toolbar, this toolbar, that toolbar, and sometimes you have to uncheck it intentionally. My second favorite tool for uh, antivirus is not even an antivirus. It's called AdBlock Plus. AdBlock Plus will let you download a. It's an extension for Google Chrome. It's an extension for Mozilla Firefox. I believe it's for Internet Explorer. I don't know. I haven't used Internet Explorer in years. Um, but AdBlock Plus will block advertising. I make this a standard practice on people's computers who I am removing viruses and spyware from. 90% of viruses and spyware come from people clicking on ads. So if you can get AdBlock Plus on your mom's computer, your brother's computer, your cousin's computer, get it like yesterday because that will prevent a lot of potential harm from coming through. Uh, another great antivirus technique, um, of course, the immunizations, as Tom Walla brought up, is a good idea. That's SpyBot Search and Destroy. Check that out my website, craigthetechteacher.com forward slash downloads. Uh, and then you have an actual antivirus. Um, I recommend if you don't want to spend the money, go with a Vast Home Edition. I like a Vast Home Edition. Uh, it's not the best antivirus, but as far as free is concerned, I think it's easy to use. It's user friendly. It's efficient. It does a good job with detection rates. If you wanted to pay for an antivirus software, my top choices are typically Kaspersky and also ESET NOD32 is a great one. Little resource intensive from time to time. Little more con confusing to set up. Uh, but lastly, Another free tool you have to have, and this one's at my website as well, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, and I recommend paying the $15 for the professional edition so you can get the real-time scanning engine on it. Um, that is awesome. That is an awesome antivirus software package. Malwarebytes has saved so many systems that I've come across I can't even begin to describe to you. Make sure you check that one out. Uh, in, some, in some cases, depending on the user, the professional version of Malwarebytes is more than enough to not need a second antivirus because the professional Malwarebytes will let you, will detect malware as it's coming into your system. Uh, but if you want to be paranoid, I'd recommend ESET NOD32 coupled with Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Make sure you put on Adblock Plus, run your immunizations on SpyBot Search and Destroy, and make sure you're using common sense when you're surfing the internet, and you will be in really, really good shape. Excellent question. That was a good question. I appreciate the good question, Sean Saint.